first, we're following some breaking news and worries that part of a building facade in Chinatown could suddenly come crashing down onto the street. Residents in the building on Mott Street now packing up and leaving their homes. I was news reporter Josh Einiger live at the scene with what's going on there. Josh. Well, Bill, police have this uh, street blocked off, Mott Street, between Hester and Canal, and we could show you right here this scene here. It's 111 Mott Street in a building with a very dangerous condition. Uh, facade, a uh, scaffolding company just came to try to put up a sidewalk shed and make things safe. But check out this video of what it looks like up there. Oh, my God. That's video taken by somebody who lives on the third floor of this building at 111 Mott Street who woke up and looked out her window and saw the entire facade of the building, including the fire escape, had just separated from the underpinnings from the actual wall of the building. A very dangerous situation, of course, for people down below. They call the fire department, which came, the fire department called the Department of Buildings, and they have condemned this building, at least uh, until the landlord is able to make this condition safe. People who live in this building have been told to pack up and leave for at least two to three days. The Red Cross on the scene to assist with housing for the night. They're just like leaning off like it's going to be like the whole front of the face of the building is all attached together and then it's all going to collapse with the fire escapes and everything off of the side of the building. So the fire escapes are going to come down. Everything's going to come down. So what they're doing now is they're having a covering come over to protect people from the street so that no one gets hit. I've got bills, contacts, food because I was like the food's going to go bad. Closed for like a week, computer, work stuff. Pretty much my life for, for a week in bags. A big inconvenience for people who live in this building. You can see right there that guy is from a scaffolding company, and those barricades in the on the back of that truck are part of the solution, at least temporarily, as they put up a sidewalk shed and set up barricades so that they can reopen the street and keep things safe. Nobody has been hurt, of course. They're trying to keep it that way. As for what led to this, Department of Buildings on the scene right now. Uh, certainly, this building will face some type of violation, but it's not clear exactly what caused this or how severe it is. We'll, of course, have more at 11.